Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to demonstrate to you how we can remotely change a computer or workstation uh, password, right? Using uh, Microsoft Remote Desktop Protocol or in short, they are called RDP. As you know, these days, everybody's working remotely and just going to the uh, office or walking over to another computer just to change your password is a bit of a hassle especially if you have to drive in the snow and uh, or hot weather or whatnot, right? So you can actually make those uh, desktop password changes uh, remotely using your base computer. On the base computer, in order, in order to change your password, all you have to do is press Control, Alternate, and Delete. And a blue window will appear like that, and then just click and follow the instruction. But on the remote desktop, if you press Control, Alternate, Delete, it will not work. So uh, let me demonstrate to you. I'm going to launch the uh, remote desktop function, uh, type remote desktop. But prior to doing this, if your network has a VPN uh, connection that's required, you got to do the VPN connection first prior opening to this. So mine doesn't have a VPN connection because it's on the same building. So once you come up with this screen, enter your computer name or the IP address of your machine. Just click. Uh, I'm going to make sure that uh, my display is a bit smaller so you can see the base computer and the remote desktop. So once that's done, click connect and then uh, enter your user credential. Once you enter your user credential, now you're in your remote computer. So you can see these are all the remote com uh, desk. This is my remote desktop itself. So uh, how do you change the password? Like I said, if you press Control Alternate Delete here, it will actually makes your base computer. Uh, you may allow you to change your base computer's password. So in on the remote computer here, you press Control Alternate and N as in E N D, and the same window will appear as in your desktop. You press Control Alternate Delete. From here, it's pretty straightforward. Change your password, and then your old password. and your new password. Once that's done, click on submit and the password has been changed. Click OK. So normally what you do is that you would have to uh, close your remote desktop uh, session again and reconnect back again with a new password and that will allow you to make those changes if your computer has a group policy and whatnot it might take a bit for your outlook and all the other password to synchronize but just keep just give them about maybe depending on how quick the updates uh, most of the client that I work with they allow they, they have allowed for at least 40 to 60 minutes before the group policy and everything get updated with your uh, user password. Anyway, uh, it was a quick tip. If it helps, please give me a subscribe, a thumbs up. Other than that, you have an awesome day. Bye now.